All right, so here we are in a uh, in a working some working masters that I'm working on. I'm trying to finish up the album, and uh, so basically, we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna show y'all how to get it done. All right, so first you want to bring in a file, bring in the file that you're um, going to be working on. So we're just going to drag what we're looking for. I'm going to go to my music and find out where the sucker is. I'll put it in originals, and the song is called uh, My Heart Want to Dance. Um, and that's the song. I didn't mean to double click it. I meant to just click over here and drag it into my song and then I'm going to spread it out a little bit by going here pulling it down then I'm going to pull it over here right after this next song and then we're going to listen to it okay now the reason I have it set up like this is because I I'm trying to mix I'm trying to mix and master a whole album so I'm mixing getting the mixes the way I want them to be and then I'm taking them here into another file that I can master them in and the base the reason I'm doing that is because I want them to be fluid all the way through um, I don't want the mixes sounding different I don't want the master sounding different I want it to sound like one complete album so that's why I did it this way alright so over here as you can see I have several different tracks set up already so I'm just gonna copy what I'm doing here alright in each track I have an individual EQ so if I press control right here is the LP key, LP64 this is a multi-channel um, uh, I'm sorry a line a linear mixer I'm sorry linear EQ alright it is LP it is a linear EQ alright so what I'm going to do is control, press control and I'm going to drag this down here and it's going to create a new one. All right. Actually, I don't want to do that. Um, never mind. Never not. Never mind. What what I what you want to do is start a new one. You don't want to bring the exact one because you um you'll be EQing differently, you know. So what one track might need may not be the same. So you want to start a fresh one. So we go to audio effects we go to VST plugins and you'll see linear EQ LP64 EQ um, and then you click that so you always want to start with EQ when you're mastering because that's the first thing you start with um, then the next ones in line are I, there are different schools of thought this is kinda just the beginning master this is kinda just beginning this is what I know what I've learned so far so um, you know obviously everyone has different you know ways they want to go about it this is not by any means a professional video so I don't want to hear any comments about that alright just it is what it is it's gonna help you get your stuff sounding better if you like to use sonar alright so the next one in line I like to use is compression or a compressor so I'll go to audio effects I'll go to VST plugins and I won't use a basic compressor I'll use a more um, uh, more complicated but more efficient compression and I'll go to multiband uh, the LP64 multiband linear compressor right here and I'll click that alright so that's gonna give you compression in different areas you know of the mix though so if you look up here where my arrow is it'll give you low low mid 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 high and high so you can add compression to different portions of your mix you know what I mean so you're gonna need that alright and then what's next in line is the um, I'm gonna get rid of this um, I like to put a tube leveler I like to put a tube leveler on there to make it to make the mix sound warmer so I put the TL64 now these are all going to if you go right here to the input that's not what you need you need the output you want to make sure that it's going to your master and that you have a stereo bus on this other pane in this other pane 
and that you have a master bus. You don't want to go into your main output on your mixer, you want to go into the master bus. And then in your master bus, you can add whatever other um, plugins you want to add. So in my master bus, where all these tracks are going, I have a tube leveler to give my mix a warmer sound. And then finally, after you're done with that, you have uh, boost, I put boost 11, which is my limiter, which basically makes things louder. You know, the EQ gets your sound the way you want it, it helps you sharpen your sound. The compressor basically helps you get more sound. It compresses all the sound, so it helps you get more sound in one little pocket so that you can pull the levels up and and make everything sound crisp and clean and the leveler is going to make it sound warm um, you know what I mean give it that nice warm feeling and boost 11 is basically going to help also help you pull the levels up but make sure that none of it peaks the limiter is going to make sure that you don't get any peaks and hopefully you don't get any distortion either so you don't want distortion with your low end and you want your highs to sound crisp and you want as much sound as you can get into if if your sound was way wide like this but you only got this much space to work with okay this is what you're doing with mastering is basically you're pulling the levels out getting as much sound in as little space that you can and the limiter basically squishes it right and the compression pulls it compression pulls it out limiter limits it so you get some good sound right in there and then the EQ you know that gives the nice way it gives the waveforms nice crisp sound and the and the uh, the leveler gives it a warm sound and just kinda cradles it right so that's what you got I'm running out of time here alright so we're here and now and now we're going to listen to our sound and see what we like. So let's listen to, let's look at our boost. And you can see that it's, it's kind of too much already. You don't really want it there. So first thing we're going to do is... Um, Volume, we're gonna pull the volume down a little bit so we have a little bit more room to work with. Now, for me, I'm thinking these a little more low end, so we'll go to the EQ. Oh, yeah. 